Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel and for today's discussion, we are going to add and subtract similar rational algebraic expressions. Let's have our first example. Find the sum of 6 over a minus 5 plus 3a plus 4 over a minus 5. So in adding rational algebraic expressions, the denominator must be the same. Since magkaparehas ang denominator natin, ang unang step natin in adding is we copy the denominator. Okay, so copy lang natin ang denominator. We have a minus 5. After that, we need to add the numerator. So we have 6 plus 3a plus 4. We remove the parentheses. It becomes 6 plus 3a plus 4 over a minus 5. Next is we need to combine like terms. Paano natin malalaman kung sino yung i-combine natin and how do we identify if they are like terms? So if they have the same variable and exponent, they are like terms. So for this one, we have 3a plus 4 plus 6. We need to combine 4 and 6. Combining them, it becomes 10. So the final answer is 3a plus 10 over a minus 5. Let's have another example. Subtract x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 3x plus 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 1. Ano yung unang step natin? Dapat they have the same denominator. Since they have the same denominator, we copy lang them. And then, the first step in subtracting is we need to copy the denominator. Okay? So, copying the denominator, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1. After copying the denominator, ang next step natin is we need to subtract the numerator. Subtracting the numerator, this becomes the quantity of x squared plus 3x plus 2 minus the quantity of 3x plus 3. Next is we need to remove the parentheses. Okay, removing the parentheses, this becomes x squared plus 3x plus 2. Careful when you are subtracting rational algebraic expression. In removing parentheses, you need to distribute the negative to the quantity. So, negative times 3x and then negative times positive 3. So, this becomes minus 3x minus 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 1. Next is we need to combine like terms. So, for this one, yung like terms natin ay 3x and negative 3x, 2 and negative 3. So, we write it this way. Okay, so 3x minus 3x becomes 0 and 2 minus 3 becomes negative 1. So, we have x squared minus 1. Bakit minus 1? Positive 2 minus 3 is negative 1. We have x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so to simplify this one, if a factor natin ang numerator natin and then denominator natin, baka meron pa silang common. So factoring out this one, the numerator becomes x minus 1 times x plus 1 and the denominator becomes x minus 1 times x minus 1. Ang common is x minus 1 and x minus 1, i-cancel out natin. Therefore, yung final answer natin becomes x plus 1 and x minus 1. If you want to learn more on how to factor and kung paano nga ba madaling mag-factor ng isang polynomial, just check the link on the description. Okay, you may try this one. 4x minus 1 over x plus 4 minus 2x minus 9 over x plus 4. You can pause the video. Answer key and solution will follow. Okay, solution is we have this. Therefore, the answer is positive 2. Thank you everyone. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to comment. I'm happy to answer any questions. Please subscribe for more math videos. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.